Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, guys, on a sugarcane bone mill farm. Now, as you can see, guys, you have these levers right on top which control the entire system. And the cool thing here, guys, is either going to control the left or the right side. So you have the option of controlling both. Now, the middle lever actually creates that zero tick system to cause the sugarcane to grow immediately. So those pistons are going to be moving at that zero tick speed, and this thing will grow the crops, or in this case, the sugarcane immediately every three seconds and the second you hit that lever on this side we're just going to create that bone mill now what's really happening here guys like i said every three seconds is going to pop up and get pushed on to those hoppers now those hoppers are each one connected to a composter and once that composter fills up guys all that bone mill is going to go directly to the front of this into the chest right here in that spot right there now, you can see how quickly this thing is going, guys. I'm not fast forwarding it or anything. This thing is working extremely fast. Now, we're going to turn that off, guys, and we're going to turn this one on because all we want now is the sugar cane itself. Now, what makes this both different, or the only thing that makes it different, is that composter. Once you switch that composter to either a barrel or a chest, you could choose which one you want. And the great thing is you can either make this farm either one way or the other. Now, because this is a zero tick system, guys, if you ever leave the chunk or log out and log back in with the system still on, this might happen. Now, if this ever happens, for whatever reason, either the chunk, this thing was still running and you left and the chunk was unloaded and reloaded when you came back, or you logged out and off like I just did, just turn everything off. And all you need is some sugar cane and you're going to go right back up to the back of this design. And what I've done here, guys, was added some glass panes so that it can allow you to walk on top and still plant the sugar cane onto the dirt itself. So all you have to do, guys, is go on both sides and just plant them like so. And, of course, once you've done that, just turn the system right back on to the way you had it. Perfect. Now, at this point, guys, pause the video. Make sure you read this information before you begin. Now, this line in the middle represents the middle or the center of this design. So right on the side of each of it, you're going to place one large chest. Place one hopper right behind it and three on the side of it like so. Now, on this side as well, place one more hopper and three on the side perfectly. Now, you're going to place a block in the center, one on top, delete the one in the middle, and you're going to extend this exactly 15 blocks towards the back. So you should have a straight row of blocks, 15 exact, with some rest of dust on top of each block, going right across. Then you can place two sticky pistons with a space, two more, and like so until you get right to the end. And replicate that on this side as well. Fantastic. Now right over here, guys, you're going to place a straight line of hoppers going towards that first one, like so until you're parallel to the blocks that we just placed earlier. Basically, it has to be parallel to that rest of the dust. You see how they kind of just line up perfectly? Fantastic. Now, the cool thing here, guys, whatever you do on one side, you will have to do on the other side. Now, right at the edge here, you're going to place either a composter or a barrel chest leaving a two block space like so in this exact pattern. Now the cool thing here guys, you can either choose a barrel or composter depending on what you want to make or a combination of both. Now, once you made that decision, you're then going to go right here in the center guys. One, two, place a block there and one on top. And just like we did with the other blocks, extend this exactly 15 blocks and rest on dust right on top of it. But before you do that, make sure you do that on this side as well, add that block right there, and extend that 15 blocks going towards the front. Now you wanna add your rest on dust right on top of it, right across perfectly. Now once you've done that, you're also gonna place your sticky pistons right there in between the gap. And here as well. 
and you're gonna replicate what we just did on this side as well. Perfect. Then you're gonna add your sticky pistons right here in between like we just did on the other end. And you should have this kind of look. Now you're gonna get a piece of dirt guys and you're gonna place two by two in front of each pistons on the outside of it. So right in front of these sticky pistons, make sure you add your four pieces of dirt on both sides. Now right here on the side, you're gonna place a block on both ends right where the dirt meets the piston and a stair in the middle. So I like to make sure the stairs are kind of facing inwards. So when you go on this side, guys, make sure you add your stairs facing towards the center of this design. And believe it or not, guys, this actually is, is going to be where the water source is going to be placed at. Now you're going to replicate that on this side as well. Make sure you add your stairs right on the side of those blocks. Your stair right there and there. And here as well. Perfect. Now that you have this look, you want to place your block on the side of the stairs because of course you don't want none of the water to be spilling out. And place your block right on side of these stairs as well. Now of course you can get your water source and once you place it in, it's going to hold perfectly in that spot. Now starting where that chest is at, or in this case the barrel, you're going to place a hopper going downwards like so and two hoppers on the side of it going towards it. Perfect. Now on this side you're going to place the hopper right on top of that compost there. And a hopper going towards the first one like so in this exact pattern. Now once you've done that guys, we pretty much got the majority of this done. You're going to start creating your frame. So you're going to add three blocks like so. And under here, you're going to extend this block going right across. And then two more like so again. And of course, extend that towards the top end, leaving the center open. Because what you want to do is create an awesome framework. Now in this case, you're going to use your regular pistons and place it in this exact pattern that we did with the dirt underneath. You see? I actually made this a little too big. Let's delete that. And you're going to add your blocks right in between so that when the sugar cane shoots up, those pistons will shoot it out. Now of course, you're going to replicate this exact framework on the other end. Now, once you replicated this on both sides, we're going to be using glass as an option, or you could use any block you want. I like glass because it makes everything transparent, just to give you guys a better visual. And we're going to add some glass right over here, guys, and extend this right across parallel to the hoppers. Now, we're going to place some more glass in between the pistons so that we guarantee that the sugarcane only goes towards those hoppers when they get pushed forward. And we're going to cover this up here as well because we don't want the sugarcane to be lingering anywhere else. So we have a nice little setup here that um, allows just the sugarcane to be shoot forward. Now of course I changed the texture pack really quick guys just to give you a better visual. I personally like to use a clear gas texture pack is a bit of a habit of mine. But as you can see What's happening here, we're creating a bit of a, a controlled environment so that we make sure that this sugar cane, the only where it goes is towards those hoppers. See? Leaving that space above the hopper clear and placing a block on top of it. Now, what you're going to do now is get your glass panes and place it right above in this last tiny section. Once again, just in case if anything breaks or the sugar cane breaks, you can easily replant them without having to go directly into the system. Now, whatever you do on one side, make sure you replicate that on this side as well. 
Now I'll put the texture pack back on, at least the clear gas part, and as you can see, this is the reason why I like it. It makes everything just look so nice and gives it a really nice, neat look. Now, right here at the end, the only change you have to make is you're gonna have to break that glass and add an observer block. Then you're gonna place a block right behind it, a sticky piston on top of it. Then you're gonna place a block right there temporarily so that you can place your observer block like so, delete the block, place your block there, add your observer block, delete that. And then you're gonna place some redstone dust starting there in a straight line so you get right to the last hopper right there. And it's here as well. Now what's happening here guys, once the observer block detects the sugar cane, it actually activates the entire system and brings it back to its original state once it retracts. Now right over here, you're gonna add some stairs upside down and more upside down stairs right here because you're gonna create the front framework. So add a few blocks right behind it and you're gonna add some resto lamps on top of it. Now we're gonna extend this framework right above here Add a few more blocks there. And that's where you're going to place your lever at. Now we're going to place some redstone torches on both sides and one in the center. And right here in the center, guys, you're going to place a block there and extend that right across till you get parallel to that redstone dust on each side. Then you're going to add a repeater going forward because this lever actually controls the entire system, the zero tick system and the pistons themselves. Now you got some redstone dust right there with a block like so, making this kind of V shape. Delete that. Then you're gonna add a block underneath and one on the side and delete that one. And what you're gonna create now is a repeater going forward with a redstone dust underneath it. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add a block right there where ground level is at and extend that right across so you get parallel to that piston, you see, and bring one block forward. And you're going to extend that with some more redstone dust going like so, and then you're going to repeat that on this side as well. So add a few more blocks as the back end, making this kind of L shape parallel to the piston and with some redstone dust on top. Now, all you have to do is add a sticky piston and a sticky piston on this side as well. And right over here, guys, you're going to add a repeater. And this time that repeater is on two ticks. That's very important. And on the side of it, you're going to add a sticky piston so that it extends forward. Then you're going to add a slime block in front of it with a observer block going forward. And believe it or not, let me break that and place that right black because I actually just got stuck in there. And an observer block on top of that because that's going to create that zero tick system. Now add another slime block, delete that block. That's the only extra block going outwards that you would have to delete. Add an observer block. Another one on top facing the actual piston, or well, the activation part at least. And once again, guys, you're going to repeat that on this side, delete that block. Make sure to add your observer block going forward, the activation part is. And on this side, place it on top and always make sure the activation that's on top is facing the piston itself. Now, the last thing you have to do, guys, is add your sugar cane on top of each piece of dirt. There you have it, guys. The system is 100% complete and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.